That's the Skittle on the last one. Yeah, perfect. I was born in 1982 without any arms. Uh, the doctor said there was no medical reason for why I was born without any arms. Um, because it was kind of a unique situation, the doctor told my parents that it was going to cost millions of dollars to raise me. You're going to have to bring in specialists, you're going to have to bring in people that teach me how to do everything or, or modify the house so I can, you know, get dressed in the morning, that kind of stuff. And because they didn't have millions of dollars, kind of, you know, freaked them out a little bit, right? So they put me up for adoption when I was three months old. Uh, at 13 months old, I was adopted into an amazing family. I actually have seven brothers and sisters. Because of that, they would actually let me try literally anything I wanted to do. Let's say I want to climb an apple tree. They would say, son, you can climb it by yourself, but you're going to have to climb down it by yourself. You're going to have to think on how to get through that circum circumstance or that situation on your own. And by doing that, I really felt like they were setting me up when I grew up to be successful because if they catered to everything, even at a young age, which I'm sure most parents wouldn't want to run and help their child all the time, they knew I was going to move out someday, right? And so because of their mindset and how they, you know, how they taught me how to think like that, I was able to actually have no modifications even to this day in my house. When I was eight years old, uh, I remember coming out of the house and I hear this this thing go over my head and then I hear another one and I look over and my brother's throwing apples at me from about 20 yards away because we had an apple tree and I remember on the third apple I ducked grabbed an apple between my toes and threw it back at him and I hit him right between the eyes and that should have been the sign for me at like eight years old hey maybe I should get into something that's you know eye foot coordinated or shooting uh, you know You know, I, I've been thinking about it, and I feel like having no arms is actually a benefit to shooting. Not necessarily from the standpoint of, of form, but on the mental side. I started archery in October of 2009, but 2012 I was shooting for a gold medal. By 2014, I cleaned internationals. I don't know if you remember that year. Yeah. It was one of seven. I got to shoot with Jesse Broadwater in the shoot-off. Right. Twice now at Vegas, I've shot 899s. Like, wow. I'm so close to, you know, and and I feel like the reason why I excelled is all my life, I was used to people either making fun of me or looking at me and staring because I'm unique and different. And at a very young age, I was able to not care what they thought of me and I would just do my thing. I'm just in my own little bubble. Well, that's half of the battle and it's archery. When I'm shooting, even if it's just a demonstration in front of one person, or when I speak to 7,000 kids, the second I throw my bow back, I can't remember anything but the target I'm trying to hit. And I don't care what people think, and I don't care that they're watching, because I grew up with that all my life. And I feel like that's a huge advantage in archery. And that's why I was able to kind of accelerate and get as far as I have in the short amount of time that I've been able to shoot.